All right, so getting ready to scalp the news again. It's Thursday, 21st of December. It's 8.20 p.m. Local time over here. I'm actually in Indonesia. So it's one hour um, ahead of Singapore. And as you can see from the clock here, 8.30, which in 10 minutes, we have got Canadian CPI news uh, combined with core retail sales news. And there's also a GDP uh, on the dollar. Right, so if I was trading this, I'll trade the Euro USD. Um, I'm going to trade this because Canadian uh, news tends to be stronger. So I'm going to trade the dollar, a Canadian pair. All right, so I'm at dollar Canadian pair. I'm at five minute candles. So right now, market price is 2803, 2804. Right, and uh, again, three minutes before the news at eight twenty-seven, I'm gonna place my two orders: buy order and sell order. So, standing by to do that. Okay, eight twenty-seven. Uh, dollar cat is twenty-eight oh one. So I'm gonna put a buy order at twenty-eight thirteen. Um, or well now it's twenty-eight oh two. Could jump really fast. Okay, I'll take twenty-eight oh two. Uh, buy order at 28.14, sell order at 28.02, minus 12, that will be 2790. Okay, so I'm going to put my buy order, put one lot for the volume, so buy stop order at 2.814. It's moving, as you can see, even before I'm placing order, it's, it's moving down quite fast to 28.00. Okay, so I'm going to move this really fast, 28.12. So buy stop order, one point two two eight two stop loss at one point two eight zero zero. Okay, buy stop placed. Now I'm gonna put my sell stop. One point two seven eight eight one point two eight zero zero. All right. Okay, so my two orders are in. I'm gonna open my terminal. Monitor my two orders here, and let's see what happens. Switch to one minute candles. So my buy order is there, sell order is there. Let's see if it triggers anyone. I've got one minute for the news to start. Whoa. Okay, as you can see, it plunged, it triggered my sell order, All right? So I'm going to cancel my buy order. And in one minute, I, one minute I'm going to take profit on this. 2762. So 8.31, I'm going to close the trade. Two seven five. Okay, so you can see my profit is there.
Okay. So I've put my stop loss at 2750. Okay, that's my stop loss. So if it keeps going down, I'm going to make more. If it goes up, I'll stop out at 2750. It's going down some more, so I can lower my stop loss even more. To 27... Uh, maybe 2755. I'll just leave my stop loss there. Okay. Let's see what happens. You can see my profits over here. All right. So if it goes up and hits my stop loss, I still make a pretty good profit. It looks like it's going up to hit my stop loss. That's fine because I've already made a very nice profit over here. Okay. So again, stop loss over there. If it goes up, it's going to hit my stop loss and stop me. If it goes down, I'll keep shifting my stop loss lower. Looks like it is is going down, right? Let's see what happens. All right. Nice. It keeps going down. Great. Okay. Come on, keep going down. Give me some more profits. Okay, I'm now at 2745.46. Oh, it's going up again. Okay. Well, let it fight out. Let, let the bears fight the bulls and see. Okay, it's going to 2740. Okay, great. Well, going even lower, 27. Okay, great. So I'm going to shift my stop loss now to 2740. So I can lock in more profits. Okay, great. I'm stopped out. Great. So I just got stopped out. And how much did I make? Let's see. So I just made a profit of $360 in about two minutes. Okay. Now, that's not a big deal um, until you consider, okay, what was the risk I was taking? All right. Let's take a look. What was the risk I was taking? Um, so basically, let's take a look. Um, as you saw, I bought one lot and I sold one lot, right? So what was my risk, okay? Uh, my risk was 12 pips, okay? My risk was 12 pips. How many pips did I make? Let's see. So as you can see, um, I got in at this price, 2785. That was my sell price. And eventually, I got out at 2740. So how many pips did I capture? Two seven eight five minus two seven four zero. I captured forty five pips, All right? So I got forty five pips, and my stop loss was twelve pips. So I earned three point seven R. All right, three point seven R for this trade. Great. So this is a nice trade again. Got three point seven five R, and that's how you trade the news for dollar Canadian. Alright, so if you like this video, you can subscribe for more videos by clicking on the subscribe button. If you'd like to enroll in our professional forex trading courses, you can go to piranaprofits.com. For live training courses in Asia, do vis visit us at wealthacademyglobal.com. This is Adam Koo and may the markets be with you.